this is where my life belongs. All right, so I want to look on how is it that we create letterheads in Microsoft Word. All right, so here we have a blank document and we are going to get into that. All right, so here we have our ribbons at the top. First place we want to go, we want to click on the insert ribbon. After you click on the insert ribbon, you're going to look for header. After you select the header, you're going to select one of the designs that suits you. I'm going to select the blank header and delete whatever it is there. I'm going to put some space in. So here, header section of the document, what it does, it allows this information, whatever is placed here, to be placed at the top of every page in the Word document. All right, so I'm going to create a letterhead for myself. All right, so first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use word art, and I'm going to use that now to add my name. And I want it front and center. So let me do that. Alright, so because this letterhead is going to represent me, I have to put my contact information and my address. You can type it but and increase the font size, put it in the middle, increase the font size, but I'm going to use text box so that it stays in place or has a particular look. Let me draw a text box. Alright, so in my text box, I'm going to put address, I'm going to put email, and I'm going to put, oh, let me just put contact information. So let me put address, I look live at 10, oh, that's zero, 10 team book 2. So I live at 10 Timbuk 2, um, Trin Bago, Jamaica. Alright. Then I'm going to put my contact information, which is basically number. So I'm going to put 876 telephone number and email address all right so that's the look right there now I don't want it to have this outline on the box here so let me click on the text box I'm going to go to format and I'm going to go to outline and select no outline all right good not bad let me bold address and contact all right so I could leave it at that but let me add two images and I'm going to search from the internet for that or if you have it um, if you have it on your device, on your laptop, tablet, whatever it may be, you would go to pictures and then search the folder where it is. But I'm going to go online. And let me look for it. animated teacher in the classroom. Sometimes I wonder about these Google searches, honestly. Oh, I like this one. Alright. 
Let me take that one. Alright, and shrink the size. Alright, so as I said before in a previous video, once it is that you have an image and you want to move it around, you go to wrap text, select tight, and you're able to move it freely. So I want it right here. Alright, good. Right there. Good. And I'm going to do two of that. I want it right in line on this side. And you see that line coming up to tell you that it is in line with the next image there. Alright, good. So it is not the most professional looking. I mean, your design would be different. But this is a simple way by which you can create a letterhead in Microsoft Word. I'm going to add one last detail. I'm going to add a line right to the bottom here and when you draw in the line there are some things that you can use to look to see if it is like normally you'd see some jagged edges or some part of your line just thicker than some and that will signify if your line is straight or not because i can't identify a straight line to save my life i can't even draw it Ask me to draw a line, it's going to be crooked. Well, that still don't look like what I want, but it gonna do. Alright, so I want the out let me change the outline because I want it to be a thick line. Ah, uh, like that. And then I want the color to be different. Orange. So why the color change with the outline? Alright, so now that we are finished, you can go to design, select close header photo or you double click anywhere below the header section. Alright, and that's my header. So let me show you what I was saying now. I'm going to insert another page. Good. So here we are on page two of the document and as you can see, whatever was placed in the header section, which is my letterhead, is placed on at the top of the second page. Alright, hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching.